Okay, so today I'm talking about David Munoz, and uh, this is, well, part of this has come from an email that I got from Gabrielle, who said, would I talk about him, see what kind of player he is, and, uh, you know, just talk about the rumours and things like that. So, according to The Sun, I know it's The Sun, according to, the, there are other uh, news agencies involved as well, but mainly The Sun, uh, it looks as though Crystal Palace are interested in signing this guy now, he's 27 years old, and uh, he's from South America and he's currently with Gents and apparently Gents want around 10 million pounds for him now this is not necessarily a bad bad price I don't think I mean it's certainly within Crystal Palace's budget so I don't think it's necessarily out of the range of possibilities at all and he's um he's been pushing for a Premier League move for a while now so coming to Crystal Palace might be a good stepping stone for him to go on to other things as well so obviously you know, we, we, we are in need of uh, additional players and things like that. So I think it would be a, a good thing for him to have. But I'm going to look at the stats, which I'll put up here on the screen as well, so that you can see him, so you can see what kind of player he is. Uh, it looks as though John Texter was also after taking him to Botafogo. So he's obviously interested in him as well. So if Crystal Palace do decide that they want to buy him, perhaps Texter would uh, dip into the hoop to do his uh, funds to buy him. If, uh, if that's the way it goes. I know things that sell us spark are a little bit uh, dicey at the moment between Texter and uh, Parish, but um, could possibly happen. I mean, obviously, with everything going on, the January transfer window might have been the wrong time for all this to happen, but you never know. They, we, we do want strength in the squad, so there, there is a possibility. Anyway, that's a little bit of background about the guy. I'm now going to talk about some of the stats that he's got. So uh, I'm going to say I'm going to try and put these up on the screen so you can see them as well. But um, he's uh, he's made so far this season he's made fifteen appearances in uh, in all competitions, and he's um, he's also appeared twice in the Europa League as well. He's got um, six goals in those games. He's also got one assist. He's got nine yellow cards in that time, which is a little high, but you know that's not necessarily a bad thing in that sort of thing. He's uh, for Ariel George. He's got a a, a total of one point three. He's had three Man of the Match awards in that time, and also he's got an overall rating of 7.33. So not bad. Um, you know, I don't think he's necessarily any worse than, than other players that we've got in the team at the moment, which you may want to, you may, you may say that we may want to get improvements. But anyway, he's also a, a right back who's also capable of playing centre back. Now, we do need a right back, obviously. So it, it is a possibility that he will be a good addition there because obviously Klein and Ward are now getting older and um, it could be something that uh, certainly is certainly turning a lot ahead and certainly other clubs interested in him as well. So he's obviously got a future there. OK, so I'm looking at some of his other stats now, which are not fairly good. I mean, for a, for a right back anyway, in, uh, in some of his games, he's getting two or three shots on goal which is uh, pretty good. It means he's, he's, he's quite happy going forward, quite happy taking shots at goal. Um, he's um, He's got up to, well, most of his games, he's got th uh, two to three aerial duels one, which again is not too bad at all. And his overall rating, I mean, you know, he's got some sevens in there. He's got a couple of eights in there. There are a couple of sixes as well, but it's fairly, it's around that time, six to eight. So not bad at all. And certainly I think um, if he was to come to the Premier League, obviously it's going to be a bit more demanding for him. But it could well also be good for him. The fact that he's 27 years old means that um, he's obviously a player they're looking at for the first team and not for the uh, not for the youth team, which is good because although we do have a lot of interest in youth players, we really want players for the first team. So that's just a little bit of background about him. And um, he does he does look like a good prospect. So it is a possibility. There are There is talk that we are very interested in him. But um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you know about this guy, then let me know what you think down in the comment section. Let me know whether you've seen him play, you know, on video, whatever like that. Whether you think he could, he would be a good addition for the uh, for the club. And also, just like Gabrielle, if you do have a question or if there's something you want me to talk about, let me know either in the comment section or if you're listening to this as a podcast, then uh, you can email me football to the core at gmail dot com, football to the core at gmail dot com, and let me know what you want me to talk about or if you have any questions put them over there and I will discuss them in a future video. That's all for me at the moment. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you next time.